Imagine a city built to accommodate millions of people, but yet stands eerily empty and desolate. Welcome to Napiedaw. Located in the heart of Myanmar, Napiedaw is a modern wonder, a sprawling metropolis that was designed to be the country's new capital. Yet today, it remains one of the world's most perplexing urban mysteries. How did this modern marvel of architecture and engineering become a ghost town? In this video, we'll dive into the heart of Napiedaw to uncover the story behind this empty metropolis. We'll explore the reasons why this city remains unoccupied and ask the big question, will it ever be filled? With a blend of stunning visuals and hard-hitting facts, we'll reveal the untold story of Napiedaw and explore what the future may hold for this empty megacity. Before we go any further, be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Napiedaw was designed to be the administrative capital of Myanmar, with a population of over 1 million people. Its architecture and urban design are notable for their grandeur and modernity. The city is located about 320 kilometers north of Yangon and covers an area of over 7,000 square kilometers. The city was built to have 12-lane highways, extensive parklands, and massive government buildings. The construction of Napuda reportedly cost $4 billion, making it one of the most expensive capital cities in the world. Despite this, the city remains almost completely empty. The emptiness of Napiedaw is palpable and eerie. The city feels like a ghost town, with vast swaths of land empty and devoid of life. The streets are almost deserted, and the buildings that line them are almost empty. One of the most striking features of Napiedaw is the number of government buildings that stand empty. The city has a vast number of government buildings, including parliament buildings, ministries, and other administrative buildings. However, many of these buildings remain underused, with few officials occupying them. To add to the mystery, many buildings in Napida have never been occupied. These include grandiose hotel complexes, convention centers, and shopping malls. The reason for this underuse remains unclear, and the city's future remains uncertain. Napiedaw's grandeur and emptiness have drawn comparisons to other failed urban planning projects, such as the futuristic city of Brasilia in Brazil. However, Napiedaw is unique in that it was built in a country with significant economic challenges and political instability. The government has been making efforts to attract people to Napiedaw, but so far, these efforts have been largely unsuccessful. Despite the challenges, some believe that the city has the potential to become a thriving metropolis if the right conditions are put in place. Only time will tell if Napiedaw will ever fulfill its original purpose or remain an empty, eerie testament to the perils of grand urban planning. Napiedaw remains an empty city for several reasons. Firstly, its location in the center of Myanmar lacks economic and cultural significance, which made it unattractive for businesses and residents. Secondly, the high cost of building the city and its infrastructure also contributed to the lack of interest from investors and the public. The government spent billions of dollars building Napiedaw, including constructing enormous government buildings, luxury hotels and modern highways, but failed to attract enough people to make the city viable. The decision to move the capital from Yangon to Napiedaw in 2005 was also politically motivated. The military government, which ruled the country at the time, wanted to distance itself from Yangon, which had been a hub of political dissent and democratic movements. By building a new capital from scratch, they could ensure greater control over the city's design and population. However, the plan backfired, 
and the government's attempts to move the population to the new capital failed. Most of the government officials who moved to Naypyidaw only stay there during the work week and return to their families in Yangon on the weekends. The city remains largely empty and underdeveloped, with many of its grand buildings and wide highways going unused. Building a city from scratch is a significant challenge, and the government's lack of experience in urban planning and development led to many mistakes. The city's design and layout were based on grand visions and a desire for perfection, rather than practical considerations like transportation and connectivity. As a result, Naypyidaw's infrastructure and transportation systems remain inadequate, which makes it unattractive for businesses and residents. Naypyidaw's story is a cautionary tale of what happens when grand visions and political motivations overshadow practical considerations. The city's lack of success is a reminder that building a city is not just about constructing grand buildings, but also about creating a livable environment for its people. Naypyidaw's future is highly uncertain. On one hand, the city has the potential to grow into a bustling metropolis and become a major player in the region. On the other hand, the challenges that come with such growth are enormous and may prove insurmountable. In recent years, there have been efforts to attract investment and tourism to the city. The government has built a new international airport and has constructed new hotels and tourist attractions. These efforts have met with limited success, however, and the city remains largely empty. If Naypyidaw were to become populated, it would face several challenges. The city's infrastructure was designed to accommodate a much larger population than it currently has. And as a result, there are already concerns about water and electricity supply. Additionally, the city's location makes it vulnerable to natural disasters, such as earthquakes and cyclones. Another major concern is the impact that a populated Naypyidaw would have on the environment. The city was built in an area that was once covered in forest, and its construction has had a significant impact on the local ecosystem. The government has made efforts to address this issue, but the scope of the damage is so vast that it may be difficult to reverse. Despite these challenges, a fully populated Naypyidaw could also have significant benefits. The city has the potential to become a major economic and cultural hub, attracting businesses and residents from all over the world. It could also help to alleviate the overcrowding and congestion in other major cities in the region. In the end, the future of Naypyidaw remains uncertain. It may remain a ghost city, a testament to the perils of ambitious construction projects. Or it may one day become a thriving metropolis, a symbol of Myanmar's emergence as a major player in the region. Only time will tell. Naypyidaw is a city shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Its grand architecture and modern infrastructure stand in stark contrast to its empty streets and unoccupied buildings. The city's history, from its creation as the new capital of Myanmar to its present state of abandonment, is a fascinating tale of politics and ambition. While the city remains empty, recent efforts to attract investment and tourism may signal a new chapter in Naypyidaw's story. However, challenges such as environmental concerns and infrastructure issues must be addressed if the city is to become fully populated. Despite the uncertainty of Naypyidaw's future, one thing is clear. This city will continue to captivate the imagination of those who explore its empty streets and contemplate its potential. We encourage viewers to stay tuned to the developments of Naypyidaw and share their thoughts and opinions on this unique and enigmatic city. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you like the video and comment your thoughts below.